Hello, I'm Chelsea Knox. And I'm Eric Stevenson. And we are musicians from the Lyric Chamber Music Society. We understand that you're learning from home and wanted to share some of our favorite music with you. As you listen today, we want you to think of ways you can get creative making your own music at home. We're going to help you get started with a few ideas for your compositions by sharing some techniques that have inspired other composers when they write their own music. This first piece is a Brazilian churro tune called Andre's New Shoes. <laughs> Most of the music we play is not originally written for the flute and the cello, but with a little work we can take any song we like and adapt it for our instruments. This method of composing is called arranging. You can arrange music by using a piece that someone else composed and making it your own. While you're thinking about your next great composition, we wanted to share another one of our arrangements. This piece is from an opera by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. I play in the Metropolitan Opera Orchestra and one of my favorite operas is The Magic Flute. In this aria, Prince Tamino plays his flute to enchant wild animals. While it's originally for the voice and the orchestra, we made it our own arrangement for the flute and the cello. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sometimes a composer will take the idea of arranging a piece of music and take it a step further. The next piece we will play is called Variations on a Theme by Haydn by Johannes Brahms. The theme by Haydn is a fairly simple chorale which Brahms arranges for the orchestra. But Brahms takes things one step further by then morphing that original theme into several different variations. So what is a variation? A variation is when a composer uses the basic structure of the original song and then uh, uses that to compose his own music. There's a simple example. Let's just hear three notes on the flute. And now Chelsea could change the rhythm. Or she could add a few extra notes to start building something more complex. Variations can be based on melody, harmony, or rhythm. And you'll hear that Brahm uses all three of these things to make his variations so rich and interesting. We'll play just one of these variations, though. But in the original work, Brahms creates eight different variations, as well as a finale to close out the piece. This is the theme and variation seven. you just made music up on the spot? Well, this is what improvisers do. 
After learning all the elements of a song, elements like melody, bass line, rhythm, and the harmony, we can begin to create our own improvisations based on the framework of all that we've learned. You might be wondering how this is different from a variation, like we just heard in the Brahms. A variation is a classical tool composers use when they write down their music, but improvisation is spontaneously created in the moment. One of my favorite songs to improvise on is the jazz standard Autumn Leaves by Joseph Kosma. It has a haunting melody and beautiful chords that are always satisfying to improvise on. <laughs> Inspiration for music composition can truly come from anywhere. I once was walking in the park, and it was a gray and gloomy day. The wind was whipping around and flying everywhere were pink and white cherry blossoms. I thought it was beautiful how the colors pink and white were set against the gray of the sky, how the wind was cold but I was warm in my coat, and how things seemed sad but I knew it was going to be okay. Moved by this impression this left me, I tried to capture the mood and atmosphere and place it in this piece that I called Cherry Blossoms. <laughs>
As you've been listening, maybe you've started to get ideas about how you could start writing music at home. But what if you don't know how to play an instrument? This next compositional tool is all about using sounds instead of melody and harmony. This piece for solo flute is called The Great Train Race, and it's by a British composer named Ian Clark. It features extended techniques, tricks, and sounds that are beyond what you normally hear on the flute. And although these tricks are specifically for the flute, there's one that you can do at home without any instrument. If you can whistle, you can do this extended technique. So start by whistling. All right, and now if you can hum with your voice while you whistle, it sounds a little like <laughs> yeah, good job. So this takes a little bit of practice. It feels pretty weird to hum and whistle at the same time. But this is an extended technique that you can do with just your voice, just with your body. And a lot of music can be made with your body, with objects you find around the house. You don't necessarily need to have a classical instrument in order to make music. So as you listen to The Great Train Race, I hope you hear some inspiring sounds that might get you thinking about what you can use at home to make music. Another classical composition technique we wanted to talk about is called a canon. This is where you create a melody and then repeat the same melody in a different voice to create harmony. A popular example of a canon you might already know is row, row, row your boat. 
Row, row, row your boat row, gently row, down the stream. Row, row, row Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Merrily, merrily, life is but a dream. It's good that we play instruments and don't <laughs> sing. True. But it is good to note that you can sing at home and make a canon without having to have an instrument. You can use your family members to make a canon. Um, so the next piece we're going to play is a canonic sonata in three movements by George Philip Telemann. This amazing piece sounds like a complicated duet, but it is really just one melody played entirely as a canon.
last short tune for you, and this is a traditional Irish jig called Gary Owen. Sometimes a great way to find inspiration for making music is from your own heritage. My first musical experience was learning how to play Irish penny whistle when I was seven years old. Now, years later, I'm coming back to my roots and drawing inspiration for playing classical music from this traditional style. <laughs> so much for listening. I hope you have some new ideas about how you might be able to create music with or without instruments. Whether it's finding inspiration from music you like to make your own arrangements or creating your own compositions from scratch, there are so many ways to get creative with music. Again, we are Chelsea and Eric from the Lyric Chamber Music Society, and we're so glad we could bring music into your home today.